Here comes Kobe, a little off balance, but it cuts inside, and one. Kobe Bryant just carrying this team. Going over to Kobe. Bryant, a clutch three. The Lakers within one. Come on now. What can he do? Lakers down three. Kobe right here, trying for the tie. Good! Welcome to the Kobe Show. Bryant in the corner, draws the double over and Roy over both. It's in for 63. Come on. The defense has not been able to find an answer for him. Ooh. Talk about taking over. He's been special. This is one for the ages. It's a 65-point game for Kobe Bryant, the second-best scoring performance of his career. Seven consecutive losses, injuries, slipping in the standings. Nothing is going right for the Lakers. Will Kobe and company finally get a win tonight? Or will the Blazers add to the Lakers' misery? And yet another perfect day here in Los Angeles. There's downtown, site of tonight's big game. Good evening, everyone, from Southern California. It's the Staples Center, filled to capacity. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. This proud Lakers team and fan base, my goodness, they have seen a lot of losing of late, Mike Fratello. What is going on? And they're not used to this. Phil Jackson is on his first ever seven-game losing streak. The Lakers losing by 25 in back-to-back -back games, first time in franchise history. L.A. is normally in the title mix. Right now, they're just hoping to make the playoffs. And, Coach, we know the Lakers getting in very early this morning from Denver. So, Clark, this is a beat-up team that is in a desperate state to win. Exactly. They are tired, and they're struggling. But they have one thing going for them. Kobe Bryant. It's been another stellar season for Kobe, and tonight will be a huge test for him. Let's see if Bryant can will this team to victory. Right now, the starting five for Coach Nate McMillan and his very young Trailblazer team. Rookie of the Year frontrunner Brandon Roy is at the two, with Jared Jack at the point. Ime Udoka and leading scorer Zach Randolph are the forwards and the second overall pick of the draft LaMarcus Aldridge is the center and for the struggling Laker team and coach Phil Jackson they're fine at guard Smoosh Parker go. and the all NBA force Kobe Bryant Sasha Vujicic a late addition to the starting lineup replacing Luke Walton is the three the front line do it all power forward Lamar Odom and first overall pick Kwame Brown and guys, Kobe switching from the number eight to 24 during the offseason, telling us the change is about growth, a new mentality, maturing as a player and as a man. Yeah, Kev, let's remember, Kobe entered the league at just 18 years old, very young. Bryant had so much success wearing that number eight jersey, three titles, but he is ready for a new era. And I think he'll give us some memories wearing 24 as well. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Clark, this is a welcome sight for the Lakers. Lamar Odom is out there for L.A. Such a key part of this team, Kevin. I mean, he's been nursing that injured left shoulder after missing five games. Lamar returned last night in Denver. And quite expectantly, the Lakers lost all those games he missed. And this Laker team tonight seems a little bit sluggish. They had issues getting from Denver back to L.A. last night. And our David Aldridge has the inside story there. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. After that loss last night in Denver, the Lakers didn't get back into L.A. until 6 a.m. this morning. Mechanical issues with their plane after boarding. The Lakers had to deplane and hang out in the small private terminal for three hours. They eventually left Denver at 4.30 a.m. Mountain Time. We'll see how much Los Angeles has left in the tank. Kevin? Thanks, DA. No rest for these Lakers. Mike, how's that affect them tonight? It'll have a big effect. Remember, they played last night at altitude, too, making tonight's game even more challenging. And it's Randolph with the ball for the Portland Trailblazers. Mike. Kobe is on a heater of late. Wow. Averaging over 35 points per game during his last six games. 
It's been a month since he scored less than 25 in a game. Boy, good force on that drive from Bryant that time. Even the foul didn't keep him from taking the shot. This is his first free throw of the game. At the line for Los Angeles, Kobe Bryant. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Last night in Denver, the Lakers falling 113 to 86 to the Nuggets. L.A. just three of 22 from three-point range. Yeah, it was a tough night for the Lakers. Yet on the other side, the answer, Allen Iverson, 14 points, 13 assists. Melo had a game-high 26. Denver leaping over the Lakers into the sixth seed in the West. Now here's Randolph. Odom grabs the board. And he was able to get a pretty good look right at the rim. Just unable to convert that time. Put that bucket in in no time at all. Always nice to see Bryant find the open man. He gets so much attention on himself. That helps create opportunities for other guys. Here's Roy. Aldridge, the pass to Roy. Back to Aldridge. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Such a gifted offensive player. He can hurt you in a variety of ways. He's a headache for opposing defenses. Bryant in the corner. Fires for three. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. First thing on Kobe's mind, score the ball. Trailblazers trail by seven. Randolph a screen. Here's Roy. Lakers with the rebound. Well, right before tip-off, we got word the Lakers were making a late change to their starting lineup. Luke Walton was scratched. He's got a sore ankle. Sasha Vujicic replaces Walton at small forward. And they pick up two. Oldham is at his best inside, able to play through contact and still finish. And Jack kicks to Yudoka. Randolph can't hit. And Clark, with this already hurting Lakers team, not having Luke Walton is a big blow. Yes, it is. I mean, Walton really wanted to play. He missed 21 straight games with this ankle injury. Then played 29 minutes last night in Denver. The trainer's telling Luke he could not play this back end of the back-to-back. -back. Walton very disappointed and upset. And that's a major loss for the Lakers. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Evans, he's checked in for the Lakers. McGore, he's checked in for Portland. And so Brown will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Evans outside. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Out to Parker. Outside Odom. Back to Parker. Pass to Brown. Down to five on the shot clock. Over McGlure. Brown. Good. This is the back end of a back-to-back -back for the Lakers, Mike. What's it like to coach in one of these situations? Well, you usually coach the front end like a normal game. Try to win that one. Tonight, you just hope your stars can give you enough minutes. And the first time out of the game, called here for the Trailblazers. Well, Mike, the playoff race clearly in the West, a crowded one. Earlier tonight, the Clippers won in Charlotte, and New Orleans beat the Knicks. And currently up in Oakland, the Warriors have a big lead on the Timberwolves. It's really tightened up of late. And Clark, really, Los Angeles went from a shoe-in for the playoffs to a team very much fighting now to make it in. They did hit a rough patch, Kevin. There's no denying that. I mean, when you get Portland, the team with the third worst record in the West at home, you've got to win a game like that tonight. Here's Kobe after Jared Jack's score. Good! He's got 15 points this quarter. Boy, they didn't waste any time, did they? They got going right away. They obviously had a plan coming in, and they've put it to good use. Tipped away. And now here comes Kobe, leading the break. And there's Brown. That's good on the assist from Kobe. Brown's got his second bucket. Right from the start, they set the tone and were the more dominant team. I love how they've looked right from the tip doing an amazing job building this lead. Aldridge, the pass to Yudoka. Evans with the steal. Bryant with it. Picked up by Aldridge. Odom dishes to Kobe. Elbow shot. 
Connects. He's got 17 this quarter. When he catches the hot hand, good luck trying to slow him down. Plays so under control, can spot up, drive, create for himself a matchup nightmare. We've got more than a month, Clark, left in the season, but there is zero doubt that Brandon Roy will win the Rookie of the Year. Yeah, I concur. I mean, Roy's been Rookie of the Month the previous two months. Looks like he'll win it in March, too. Had a knee injury to start the season, but since he's come back, he has been incredible. 16-4-4 four four is what he's averaged. He's like a 6-6 point guard, playmaker, score. His future's so bright. And the Trailblazers with possession here. After the basket by the Lakers, Roy Brown with the rebound. He'd like that one back. That's normally a shot he makes. Kicks it out to Evans. He dishes it to Brown. Back to Evans. Passes it to Bryant. Pass to Odom. Moves back up. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Kobe's got three assists tonight. I like seeing Odom look to knock these mid-range jump shots down because he's certainly got the ability to do so. Now here is Jack. Roy up on top over Odom. A nice shot by Roy. Roy's got his second bucket of the night. Boy, I love the great assist that time by Jack. Shot and game clock separated by five. Parker with it. Back to it. Gets it to fall. 19 for the quarter. At 6-4, Parker can see over most other point guards. Excellent vision by Smush. Jack against Parker. Aldridge with a screen on Parker. Jack for three. And so it's Los Angeles closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We've got more in store for you right after this. Welcome back to downtown Los Angeles, the Staples Center. Second quarter getting started. Lakers leading by 20. And Kobe Bryant currently second in the NBA in scoring. Mike, last year, Kobe averaged over 35 points a game. It was the highest mark, as we know, in the league since Michael Jordan back in 1987. This year, Kobe is at 29.1 points per contest. He's right behind Carmelo Anthony, who is at 29.8 per game. Right behind Kobe, Agent Zero, Gilbert Arenas, scoring 28.9 points a night. Should be a fun three-horse race down the stretch. Now here's Kobe. It's rebounded by Randolph. He thought that one was going down as soon as it left his hands. Well, with good reason. That was a great look. Just bad luck it didn't go down. Here's Rodriguez, trains it from beyond the arc. Rodriguez has got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Trailblazers. From deep, Bryant, in it goes for the eighth time in 10 tries. So good with those redemption shots. Kobe coming right back. Great first quarter for Kobe Bryant, Clark. His team needs that from him tonight. Zero doubt about it, guys, for the Lakers to do anything in the playoffs. They need Kobe to be the best player in the NBA, to play at an MVP level. Here's Farmar. The Blazers getting the bucket. To the paint. Brown trying to free himself up. And there's Kobe. That's good on the assist from Farmar. What I like about Farmar, he keeps his head up and his options open. Here's Dickow. He has yet to score. A nice shot by Rodriguez. Nice job hitting him right in stride. Excellent play. Kobe against Rodriguez. Bryant. And they double up Bryant. 
From past the arc, and another three for the Lakers. There's the range. Fomar is a strong three-point shooter. The pass to Jones, and there's the feed to Randolph. It's rebounded by Bryant. And so Bryant will bring it up for the Lakers. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. It's in. Kobe's reached the 25-point mark for the 15th consecutive game. The mid-range stroke of Bryant. You got to admire that. I mean, he's got a terrific feel from here. It's been three weeks, Mike, since the Lakers won here in Staples in L.A. Back on February 23rd. And that night, they beat the struggling Celtics 122-91. Yeah, Boston is 19-45, and 45, last in the East. Kobe had 38 in that victory. They aren't used to this in L.A. These home fans hungry for a win. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Odom comes in for Roni Turian. And Parker subbed in for Jordan Farma. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Jamal McGlure, he's checked in for Randolph. Udoka comes in for Jones. Brandon Roy, he's checked in for Sergio Rodriguez. And Jared Jack has subbed in for Dickow. Now, here's Parker. Brandon Roy unable to get his shot to go. Roy against Bryant. Back to Odom. That's in, coming off an assist from Bryant. Odom's got seven points in the game. That's a great sign from Odom. Looking so confident shooting off the catch. Well, Luke Walton was in the original lineup we were given. However, he was ruled out right before tip-off. You know, that's a very rare occurrence in the NBA. So, David Aldridge, what are you hearing from the Lakers? Well, Kevin, Luke played for the first time last night in six weeks because of that sore ankle. Now, the plan was for him to play both ends of this back-to-back. -back. However, the Lakers training staff did not like how he was moving pregame. It was their call, not Luke's, for him to sit out tonight. I'm told Walton is very upset in the locker room. Kevin? Ah, uh, David, that's really tough for Luke, but give the trainers credit for having the players' best interest. Nice job executing inside. When you give Roy these kinds of looks, he's going to cast those in. Right side, Kobe. Got it. 28 points this half. Hey, it's as plain as pound cake. Keep it simple. They want to see how big this lead can get. No such thing as running up the score at this level. Aldridge sets up the pick now for Roy. Over Bryant. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Roy has gone three for eight tonight from the field. Kobe with it, picked up by Aldridge. And it's Brown that time on the assist from Kobe. Kobe's got six assists here tonight. A force inside. Brown can really make defenses pay. Portland is looking for their first season sweep of the Lakers in 13 years. The 93-94 season was the last time the Blazers won every meeting against the Lakers. Clyde, the Glide, Drexler, and company winning all five meetings with L.A. back then. Now, these teams face off just three times per year. Here's Bryant following the basket by LaMarcus Aldridge. Bryant is double. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. And there's a minute 45 left in the first half. Yudoka kicks to Roy. Again, the Trailblazers score. One of Roy's specialties is the catch and shoot. Outstanding in that regard. Here's Evans. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. I like the way he's done a good job working that ball around tonight, getting it moving, wanting to get other guys going. This demonstrates leadership on his end, willing to give it up in an effort to make his guys better. The kick out to Aldridge. Back to Roy. Pass to Yudoka. This one for three. Evans with the rebound. Bryant looking it over. A quick shot there, and it's off target. Well, Clark last year was the first season of the draft under this new CBA. The biggest change, no more jumping straight from high school to the NBA like Kobe Bryant did 11 years ago. Yeah, that's been modified a bit, so we're seeing these so-called one-and-done guys. They've got to be 19 and one year removed from their high school graduating class to get drafted. I'm actually curious to see how this is going to change the pro and college games. 
Now Jack. Lamar Oda missing from long range. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Back to Jack. Releases. Nails the baby hook. Boy, Aldridge commands so much defensive attention. There's bound to be somebody open on every possession. And this time, Lamarcus finds it. Oda with a screen on Roy. Here's Bryant driving to the basket. Gets it to go. He has 30 for the half. Terrific focus to get to the basket there. Surprised they left him that much of a lane to work with. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. First team foul. And to the line of the drill business, number 15, Zach Randolph. Check for three. He doesn't hit that one. Kobe Bryant getting it done for the Lakers. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Right back after this break. It's another busy night on the 101. Los Angeles shining bright. We're back from halftime with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan from Southern California. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for Los Angeles. It has been an odd season for the Lakers, Mike. Two months ago, this team was 26 and 13. They were third in the West. But they've hit a rough patch of late, and it has not been pretty. Just 7 and 19 since that nice start. Scoring outside of Kobe has been a massive issue for L.A. Shot clock at 2. Offensive rebound. And there's no question Brown has talent. When he's put in the right situation, he can be an effective role player. Lakers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. That free throw good from Brown. And Brown drops them both. And here are the Trailblazers. Jack up on top. Passes it to Roy. And a great assist by Jack. As that one goes in. Jack's got three assists now in this one. And here is Parker. Kicks it to Vujicic. Bryant in the corner. Two points. That one goes. Bryant's got 32 points in the game. Around the bucket, Kobe is crafty. He has all the shots. Kobe Bryant is cooking tonight. His season high, 58 at Charlotte in December. A triple overtime game. Bryant taking 42 shots. Actually fouling out in that third overtime. I think he's got a great chance to get to 58 again tonight. A gifted passer Lamar Odom is embracing his point forward role. Knocks it loose. There is the third steal for Kobe. Here's Kobe. And yes, it's good. Bryant's got 36. Yep, he's their leading scorer in this game and has been the dominant figure today. No doubt about it. Roy kicks to Jack. Randolph, a screen on Parker. Jack passes to Randolph. And the layup's good off the glass. Randolph's got his second basket of the night. Coming off that pick, Jack dissecting the defense. Here is Parker. Outside, Bryant. And he banks in the layup. He has 38 in the game. He's been a reliable offensive option, currently maintaining an impressive field goal percentage in this game. And Jack kicks to Roy. Baseline jumper. No good from Jack. During the offseason, Clark, Devin George signing with Dallas. That means outside of Kobe, every player from those three-peat Laker teams is gone. Yeah, you look at the roster, and it's just Kobe and Luke Walton left from that last finals team in 04. We're seeing this all around the league, though, Kevin. More player movement. Here's Randolph. Rebound by Parker. Randolph's gone 2 of 7 from the floor here. And here's Kobe from the arc. Randolph grabs the board. 
And here are the Trailblazers now. Pass to Roy. To the middle. And then Randolph slams it in. A 6'6 six, six creator, smooth as they come. Roy is kind of a point forward, doesn't have a defined position. All he is is a baller who makes plays. And Kobe scores. It's his 10th 40-plus point game of the year. Another 40-point night for Kobe. This is becoming common for the future Hall of Famer. And then Randolph slams it in. Randolph may not be working with the biggest vertical, but he can still power it down. Now Odom. He's got nine. And here's Kobe for three. Oh, 46 points! And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. Well, Mike, there's only a month left in this season. Let me put you on the spot as I love to do. Who is your MVP? I go with Dirk Nowitzki. His Mavs are 53 and 11, running away with the West. Coming off that finals appearance, Dirk has taken his game to another level. He could go 50, 40, 90. Here's Roy. Following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Randolph, again the Trailblazers score. A combination of intelligence and creativity. Randolph can score on the most pesky of defenders. In the corner, it's Bryant. Oh, there's no stopping Kobe. Bryant. Tonight, his 15th career 50-point game. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. Roy with it, and it's Odom picking him up. And slam dunk by Randolph. Brandon Roy with the lovely dish. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And there's the pass to Kobe. 23 points for him in this quarter. He's at 50. This guy's from another planet. Unreal stuff from Kobe tonight. The trade deadline passing a few weeks ago, Mike. The big deal was made in December with former MVP Allen Iverson sent to Denver. The answer, joining forces with Carmelo Anthony. Those nuggets are potent offensively. Blew out the Lakers last night. I have no idea how you defend both of those guys. Here is Bryant after the made shot from Zach Randolph. White block shot. The shot by Kobe. No good. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. To the inside, Aldridge. And Aldridge slams it in. Boy, I tell you what, nice work offensively. Zach making the right read there. Aldridge has gone four for four from the field. Perfect so far. And now Portland on the break. Here's Randolph and slam dunk by Randolph. Hey, you get a steal right now. You should look, take that break. And that's exactly what they did. Transition defense is normally not set up. Now here's Kobe. Non-stop scoring machine here. Count it. He's got 25 points on the half. Kobe's so athletic and smart. Hard to slow this guy down. I mean, he plays through contact well, too. Down low. And Randolph throws it down. This is what a floor general looks like. The vision and the pinpoint pass. Looking to keep it rolling. Stay on the attack and keep playing the right way. And here's Kobe from the arc. Makes it. He's got 58 points. Three pointers clearly the difference for them here in the second half. Tough to guard a whole team from beyond the arc. They've got it going. Over to the wing. Inside. Here's Randolph. He kicks to Udoka from deep, and he's good on the three ball. The rare three, but Udoka looks settled out there. Here's Odom. That's in, coming off an assist by Kobe. Bryant's got assist number eight now on the night. Love the defensive intensity from Bujicic. Really working hard to affect the play. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a 34-point advantage heading into the break. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here.
We are set for the final quarter of play. L.A. and Portland finishing things up here from Staples. Clark, this is the 15th 50-plus point game in Kobe Bryant's career. And you know what? That puts him in all-time company. It sure does, partner. Only Wilt, Michael Jordan, and Elgin Baylor have had more. How about that list? Here's Vujicic on the wing, Kobe. With the crossover, and Kobe's... Got it! He's reached 60! Tonight has been all about Kobe. He's unstoppable, reaching that 60-point mark. Pass to McGlure. Jams it in off the great move. And McGlure knows how to use his size on the glass. Outstanding work right there. Passes to Kobe. Launches it from deep. Rebound by the Trailblazers. McGlure's got four rebounds now tonight. Despite pretty much no sleep last night, Mike, Kobe Bryant is having another incredible game. Wow. Well, he's the reason that the Lakers are up. I mean, Bryant is just determined to end this losing streak, even if he has to practically do it by himself. Now here's Kobe. Three-pointer. And Kobe again. 63, the second most in his terrific career. Here's Dickow, covered by Vujicic. Left side, Randolph. Randolph, a screen on Kobe. Here's Rodriguez, back to Randolph. And it's Randolph with the jam. I like watching Randolph go to work. I mean, he's a real problem when he's involved in pick and rolls. They are in complete control, coach, of this game. There's no question, without a doubt, they've been firing on all cylinders. In every way, you're right. Now here's Kobe. Fades back. Again, Kobe! 65 points! The most ever by a Blazers opponent. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. And slam dunk by Randolph. It doesn't take much for Randolph to get going. You got to admire his confidence. Mike, here we are talking about the NBA this season. It is very clear the West is the stronger conference. The best four records in the league are all in the West. Remember, six of the last eight titles have been won by the Western Conference. The Lakers fighting for a playoff spot. If they were in the East, they'd be in the postseason easy. You have to like any chance that close to the hoop. Rodriguez has gone a perfect five for five from the field. Right side, Bryant. Kobe draws the double to the paint. Evans dishes to Turioff. Now Vujicic. Just five on the clock. Over Dickow. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Absolutely a threat inside the arc. Vujicic is comfortable hitting from mid-range. Dickow, the pass to McGlure. It's good. McGlure's got four this quarter. That's what you want from ball movement. Get the defense moving and find the chance inside. Pass to Vujicic. A three ball. The basket good off the assist from Evans. I like how they set up Vujicic. Got him in a comfortable space. And Sasha was ready to fire. Here's Dickow. Tried to come right back with a three of his own. But it's no good. Here's Vujicic. The pass to Rodmanovic. Evans passes to Vujicic. Back to Evans. Lakers passing it around. Rodmanovic. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Outside, Jones. Plays it up and banks it in. He's hard to stop when given any room to operate at all. Now, here's Bryant. Pass to Evans. Now, Vujicic. Pass to Kobe. 
The dish to Rodmanovich. For Randolph. And the Lakers tack on two more. Some big men struggle with that in-between distance. Rodmanovich looks silky. Kicks to Jones. Looks for Randolph. Gets it to him. Ujicic grabs the miss. There's a minute 47 left to play in the final quarter. Fires from the wing. The rebound by McGlore. McGlore's got six rebounds in the game. Jones drives in. Here's Randolph. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Randolph's got six in the quarter. Well, Randolph is an excellent offensive rebound. And then once he grabs it, he goes right back up with it. Vujicic the pass to Rodmanovic. We've got 118 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Pass to Bryant. Let's go. And Evans gets it to go on the assist from Kobe. Excellent distribution. That possession highlighting how important unselfishness is. There's the pass to Rodriguez. Right wing. A shot by Randolph. Nobody around. Randolph. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. They're really making a go of it, but perhaps too little, too late. But you respect them for playing out the string. Evans passes to Rodmanovich. Pass to Vujicic. He kicks it to Rodmanovich. Fires the three. Portland grabs the miss. Rodriguez feeling it out a bit. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Passes it to Vujicic. Let's it go. The rebound by McGlore. Here's Dickow. The story tonight. Another out of this world performance. Mike Patello from the great Kobe Bryant. Kobe is why this losing skid has ended. Bryant was marvelous. Had total control of this game. Looking like the best player in the world. And honestly, Clark, we were just in awe, all of us, of what Kobe did right before us tonight. Hey, it's simple. Sometimes you simply have to sit back and enjoy what you are seeing. Kobe treated us to an all-timer tonight. Basketball history made. Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Kevin Harlan signing off. And we'll see you next time.